Okay, so if we've got the bottom up to the knee, now we've got to work from the top down. And that means we've got to target the hip because the hip is going to be what controls the femur here, which is really half of that knee joint, as we talked about in the beginning. Well, I'm going to tell you right now the number one problem that's causing this knee, this femur, to internally rotate here is a weakness in the external rotators or the abductors of the leg. And I can tell you it doesn't matter how much you're squatting, it doesn't matter how strong you are as a squatter, it doesn't how much lunging you're doing, guys, if you're not paying attention to the small muscles here of the hip that allow it to be ex externally rotated and control the external rotation of the hip, then you're not doing enough. And I know this is the boring stuff, but I'm, this video was made to help you to finally overcome this. So if you could just commit to doing maybe three or four sets two or three times a week, you're going to go a long way to finally fixing this position of the knee because as I said, consequentially this knee is getting killed. It's getting destroyed here because of this position, this knock knee position, and you're trying to do anything out of that is a recipe for disaster. So when we look at the hip itself, we got to abduct it. So how can we abduct it? I like this side lying exercise here because it can be scaled to all levels of strength. So if you start here in a weaker position here, we know it's weak, you're going to put your hands on the ground, you get your foot uh, assisting you on the ground, and you're just trying to go into this side plank lift where you're really trying to abduct that hip on the bottom there to start strengthening it. But what I like again is that I don't have to just stay there as I get stronger because it's going to become too easy. When I want to go a little bit more after advanced level strength here, then I could take away my hand or I could even take away that foot and lift that other leg up off the ground entirely so that all the work now is being done by that bottom hip into abduction. So it's a great way to scale yourself and make sure you continue to put the heat on that hip and make it do its job. But beyond